back to our channel so today will be a day in a life vlog of stay at home mom mom of two just dropped kenzie off at school usually when i drop her off at school that's when i come home and make my coffee since the morning time is just like go 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 because we are always late i know bad habits i want to show you guys my new coffee machine that i got for christmas so that's what you guys just seen it is the keurig k cafe darius got it for me that's one of the things that i really wanted for christmas so i'm so happy that i got it and it's so cool so i feel like a real barista although i don't have any type of recipes down packed or anything like that but once i do I might make a video of some recipes that I like. Since I'm not doing any dairy, it's kind of hard because like when I first got it, I was like using like milk for the frother. I felt like it didn't need sugar, but now that I'm using like almond milk, maybe because I'm not using like sweetened almond milk, I'm just using like original, like I guess unsweetened. So I need to add like sugar in there. I like making the lattes and cappuccinos because they're stronger and get straight to the point, you know? But this one came out kind of good. I just put one teaspoon of sugar and I used the almond milk and I put some cinnamon on top. Mix it all together. You got some hustle juice. I hate when you make a coffee and you're like trying to make a cute picture and show it off and it has all these coffee drips on it. It's like not cute. Cruz is sleeping in his car seat. He just... He fell asleep in the car, so I know he's gonna wake up soon because I'm talking so loud. Some of the things I gotta do today is grocery shop. Go figure, just like the last vlog. It's been like two weeks now, so it's time to grocery shop again, but I'm just gonna order it on my app. I just found out that you can order Whole Foods through Amazon Prime and it's free two hour delivery. Did not know that. I don't usually shop at Whole Foods. Actually, I don't think I ever shopped at Whole Foods just because there's only one in the area and it's like, 40 minutes away from us. It's just too far. So I'm gonna try that out. But you have to spend a minimum, I think, of $30. I have some stuff already in my cart for Walmart, and then I'll have to go to Kroger and get the produce, because I don't like Walmart produce. Just don't. Hey, look who's up. Yeah. So I just ordered everything on the Amazon Prime for the Whole Foods. That came out more than I expected because if you're supposed to spend $35, in order for the free two hour delivery, they had to add some taxes, which is like some change. And then they have like an estimated, I don't know what the hell they even meant. Estimated substitution. So I'm guessing like if you order like produce and stuff like that, and you don't know the exact weight, they have like that, that window right there. So like they like add an extra $5 and then you know, you have to add tip. So like that's another five dollars so it came out to like ten dollars more than i expected but now that i'm reviewing my order i guess they took out that because i didn't get any produce on here so now it just shows <laughs> now it just shows the tip i guess it's okay we'll see when it comes to the door so i chose the window between 3 and 5 p.m so they apparently just drop it at your doorstep. So I ordered that and then I ordered the stuff on Walmart. So that is supposed to be picked up between two and three. So I think that's like perfect timing. Go to Kroger, get some of the produce I need to get, pick up the groceries at Walmart, come home, put that away. And by that time, the stuff from Whole Foods should be here and then I should be done, right? And I checked um, for both of them. They ask if you, if to click on the ones if that's okay for substitution. For the Whole Foods one, you put your phone number in and they'll text you, I guess asking you like, is this 
substitution okay if they don't have what I wanted. And then for Walmart, they said it's supposed to do the same thing, but I never got a text last time. They just like added random stuff there. But I'm gonna keep checking my email, but I did click on the ones that I don't want substitution on. Like it just makes no sense what Walmart does. I mean, I guess they don't really care. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to bash on Walmart. I don't know how other stores do with substitution. But it's just like, if you're getting something that's whole grain, you would obviously think that this person's diet, you want something whole grain and not just get like potato bread. You know? Like, that doesn't go hand in hand. It's like totally opposite. But I feel like so far so good with this ordering groceries online thing. Because like I said, I hate going in the store. It saves a little bit more time. And I like that I can delete stuff and like see how much I'm actually spending. You want to clap your hands? Yeah? Clap your hands. There you go. So this is embarrassing, but this is real mom life. I have about one, two, three... Four, four baskets of clothes to fold. There's some more clothes in the dryer. And about two more loads that needs to be washed. How did it get like this? I don't know, but I'm trying to be better in 2020. So hopefully I can fold all of this today. It will be a restart and maybe I can get control of it <laughs> and start doing laundry more often. Folding clothes has to be like, well, I can't say it's the number one thing that I hate because I hate food shopping, so. Clearly being an adult is just hard. <laughs> I've been trying to make it fun and it's kind of hard with him because he always wants to be attached to my hip and sometimes I wear him. But he's just getting so heavy to hold. So I have a toy on the bed and hopefully he will play. We're showing off your clothes. Looking like a whole bottle of Pepto Bismol, right? You don't know what that is. So what'd you do at school today? So we made a pizza dough and um we put some sauce. You made pizza? Yeah, so at we got school? a Yeah, so we got a bagel and and a bagel? Yeah. Mm. And then and then we got and then we got it a tomato sauce and spread it all over. And then we put some cheese and then who wants pepperoni? We put pepperoni and then and then, then we put it in the microwave and, and, then, and then it's hot so you need to let it cool down and then you eat it. Boom. Wow, that sounds, was it yummy? Yeah. So I just parked at home and while I was driving, Mackenzie told me that she had to go to the bathroom at school and take off her shoes, take off her pants because her pants were on backwards this morning. <laughs> And her teacher is the one who told her that. And like, how embarrassing is that? Us as parents didn't even notice that. Cause she gets herself dressed in the morning and she usually knows how to put her clothes on. So, I mean, let me see your pants. How does she know it's back? Oh, that's why it has a logo. So that, that was probably in the back. Kizzy, you know how to put your pants on. Now you embarrass me and daddy. <laughs> Parent fail, mom fail. They made pizza bagels. This is what the teacher sent. I swear, leaving out the house takes like 10 times longer with kids. Cause see, he had a whole outfit change cause it was soaking wet from the water. A sippy cup. Yeah, I'm telling you. I wanted to show you guys real quick what I did right here. Cruz's hair has been so dry in the back and it's cause like he has curly hair so it's natural. Like 
he needs some type of satin. I remember my sister-in-law said she always had like a piece of satin in my niece's car seat when she was a baby. So I was like, okay, let me take one of my bonnets and like I put it through the seatbelt hole. So it was like just shoved in there. So right here, like this is where his head is. He has a nice satin place here so his hair won't get so dry. Can you turn around so I can see shoulder in the back? Turn around. So yeah, it's not, not as dry. So it's working. It's like perfect. It's like the perfect size amount for your hair. I got no stroller today. Amazing. I guess it's in Darius' car. Do I do wrap? Do I just take the car seat? I don't know. Cruz, you're so heavy. I don't know what to do. I hate pushing these car seat shopping carts because the heat is so high and I can't even see where I'm going. I cannot see. Alright, so I think that was pretty successful at Kroger. I got everything that I needed. I stuck to my list, didn't get anything extra. And my limit was about $40 and I spent like $31. Thumbs up. I think Darius will be proud of me. Now we're about to go to Walmart and pick up the rest. I look like a hot mess. Like, what is going on over here? Cruz is so tired. He barely, he didn't even nap today? The whole time, it's about, it is 2.30, and he only napped in that car seat from this morning. That was like nine o'clock to like 9.20. <laughs> Anyways, got my Walmart stuff, Kroger stuff, waiting for my Whole Foods stuff, about to put everything away. So in the last vlog, I showed you guys that we got the black bean quinoa veggie burgers. It was really, really good, so that's why we got it again. And the same with these meatless meatballs, so good. So like, we mix this with marinara sauce and put it in a sub, like, amazing. Got some more of these because this literally was gone in like two days. Darius and Kenzie like ate all of it. I got this for Cruz, some yogurt melts. He never had this before, so I'm excited to see his reaction, which I'm sure he'll love it. And got him some more puffs. These are the organic cranberry orange. And I got this bigger almond breeze, almond milk unsweetened. I feel like we go through this a lot because I eat oatmeal every morning and I mix it with this because I don't like water with oatmeal because it's like only bears does that. I It's just disgusting. I don't know how people eat oatmeal with water. So I thought they were going to ring the doorbell but no one rang the doorbell and I'm like sitting on the couch and like wondering when they're going to come because it says between 3 and 5. So I look on Amazon account and it said delivered at 2.46 and it's 3.30. So that means just things been chilling outside this whole time. I did not know that. Oh my God. I thought this was way bigger. Look at this small bag. So I got these Hit Peas vegan white cheddar. Something to snack on. This is my vegan mayonnaise. Vegan ranch dressing. Got some vegan cheddar squares. So it's kind of like um, Cheez-Its. This is the vegan frufalo wings, vegan dairy-free mozzarella shredded cheese for like tacos. I also got the sliced cheese cheddar style for my grilled cheese sandwiches. And then the vegan sour cream. This will be interesting to try. So it's a new day. Obviously my hair is done. And I realized that I did not end that vlog that was just shown. And I also want to give an update on how the vegan products that I got tasted. So, quick review. I did not try the Fruffalo Wings yet. I just haven't had time to make it yet, but I will try it soon. But with the vegan ranch, it tastes just like ranch. I like dip it with my cauliflower wings or with french fries, like so good. The only thing I don't like about it is that you have to like hit it so hard for it to come out. So it's not like a squeeze bottle that I'm used to, so you gotta like hit it, so that can get a little bit annoying. The vegan sour cream tastes, I don't wanna say it tastes exactly like sour cream, I don't just eat sour cream out the tub. I put it with my tacos, so like it kinda like masks. It's really thick, but it doesn't taste bad. Anything that I eat with sour cream, I would just put the vegan one and it tastes really good. As for the vegan cheeses, my friend always told me to not eat it cold that doesn't taste good cold so it always tastes better melted so i haven't tasted it cold i think i tried a little shredded cheese cold and it was it was okay but when it's like mixed with stuff and when it's like melted then it tastes really good it tastes just like cheese another thing i got was the vegan cheese it's want to be cheese it's that tastes really good too and then the chickpea white cheddar puffs 
that tastes really good too so everything i got that was vegan was actually pretty good and all along i was kind of like nervous about trying vegan products i'm just like i don't want to waste my money because you know they're not so cheap you know they're like three four dollars for something that's small and meanwhile you know you can get it for cheaper at walmart i think it's completely worth it it's you know vegan it's dairy free it's healthier i think i will continue using it i will continue buying it you guys should definitely check it out maybe in the future i'll make a video on what i eat in a day and show you guys some of the recipes I've been making since I, we stopped eating meat. So, cause I've made some really cool things. I know on my personal Instagram, I always share like my food and everyone's just like recipe, recipe, recipe. And a lot of stuff I've just been getting on Pinterest, but I figured if I make videos from it, it's a lot easier. A lot of people are more visual people than reading on Pinterest and stuff like that. I know I'm a more visual person. So definitely be on the lookout for some food, vegan recipes. I'm not a pro, I'm not a pro, but this is what I've been doing, so what I've been eating, what I've been liking since I stopped eating meat. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you guys next time.